Anime has lots and lots of pieces, lots of hidden stories behind characters, this, that, and the third. Ohio Best of Friendos. Tonight, we are going to be looking at all 12 Demon Moon's backstories explained. We're going to be hearing about the demons from Demon Slayer. Huh. Without further ado, let's get into it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and here we go. So here is every Demon Moon, and I'm going to be explaining each of their backstories. All Starting 12. The demon who killed her husband after he sold her dress. This is the Demon Moon Nakime, and this instrument caused her to end her own husband. See, Nakime lived a poor life because her husband always gambled away their Bro, all the, the all the demons have like some of the saddest stories. Away the dress that Nakime performed in. He begged her for forgiveness, but this time he had gone too far. In a fit of rage, Nakime grabbed a hammer and ended her husband. Oh, wow. Before she could even hide the body, her manager knocked at the door and said, Nakime, it's time to perform. She grabbed her instrument and took to the stage, nervous because she was poorly dressed. But to her surprise, the crowd loved her music. They ended up chanting for an encore. And that that is wild. Over, Nakime began murdering someone before each of her performances, believing that this gave her a good oh. look. That is until one performance where she made a deadly mistake, picking Muzan to be her next victim. No. Nah. And hit him with a hammer, but he turned around completely unhurt. Muzan she tried to take out. She tried to take out Michael Jackson. But the next Kizuki Hantangu took things even further by marrying and ending seven different women. It all started when he was a child, because Hantangu was a pathological liar who always found a way to blame others for his mistakes. Oh, wow. Things got worse as he grew up because he went from lying to murdering people. See, Hantangu So all of them have that in common, I see. Then he'd convince himself that he was being mistreated and kill his entire family. He managed to do this seven times before he was finally captured and sentenced to death by decapitation. Bro's insane. He was finally getting the punishment he deserved. Until Muzan arrived and turned him into the demon we know today. Next, we have Akaza. Akaza is a G, bro. always like I gotta do a Akaza, Akaza cosplay. A criminal who roamed the streets, beating up anyone who looked at him. Talk about insecure. And when he challenged the dojo master Keizo to a fight, Akaza expected an easy win, but instead he got his butt whooped. Uh. The master invited Akaza to his dojo, and he quickly became a talented martial artist. While there, Akaza bro is the one demon to just throw straight hands, bro. Things went well, and for the first time in his life, Akaza felt at home. Eventually marrying the daughter, but things wouldn't stay happy for long. While Akaza was out of town, a jealous man at another dojo decided to get revenge. See, he had been in love with Akaza's wife, and when she got married, he was so angry he poisoned her water well. Wow. Both the dojo master and the daughter died, and when Akaza returned, he went insane, going on a mad rampage and killing the jealous man's entire dojo with his bare hands. It was yeah. Such a massacre that it even caught the attention of Muzan. Muzan was like, hey, yo. Oh, I need you on my squad. That was that was insane. Muzan turned him into a demon, and Akaza quickly became the upper moon rank three. Now, Akaza almost changed his ways, unlike Doma, who did horrible things even mm. as a kid. See, Doma was born with rainbow colored eyes. Kaza Doma just had, he just had issues. Like, he was born with issues. Where he shared the knowledge of the gods. But there was just one problem. Doma was faking it all. The gods weren't actually talking to him, and he didn't even believe in them. Right, Doma, Doma just was born with issues. Everybody else. Everything came crashing down. You know, came Doma into issues. Bro was insane. born with them. And one day, she snapped, killing her husband and then herself. Any normal kid would have been traumatized, but not Doma. In fact, his only But we love Doma, though. <laughs> mom had made a bloody mess. Things only got worse. Because after meeting Muzan, Doma asked to be turned into a demon, realizing that with his new powers, he could secretly eat his cult members and become extremely strong. Oh. Doma's cult and power continued to grow until the woman joined his cult and turned everything. Everything upside down. See, Kotaha had an evil husband, and with nowhere to go, she took 
our newborn son Inosuke and joined the cult. Oh. So Mama began noticing that cult members were disappearing. Wow. After Doma, she discovered that he was eating the Paradise Faith members. When Doma caught her spying, Kotaha knew she was in danger. Bro was getting new people just like there was McDonald's french fries, bro. She ran right into a dead end at the edge of a cliff. In her last moments, Kotaha accepted her wow. to let her son die. With a leap of faith, she threw Inosuke off the cliff, praying that he would somehow end up alright. And he After became Gil, the mountain Inosuke king. He was rescued and raised by boars, but Kotaha was eaten down to the bone. Yikes. Ugh. While Doma had no excuse to be evil, Gyoko definitely did, because his childhood was so traumatic, he went insane. Gyoko was born in a fishing village to a happy Oh, he just actually went crazy. Like, he actually went crazy. <laughs> His life quickly deteriorated. The sight of his parents' bodies broke something in Gyoko, causing him to fall in love with dead things, and he began a gross hobby of playing with dead fish. The villagers thought he was insane, so they kept their distance from him. But the villagers he was. bullied him every chance they got. One day, the bullying went too far, and Gyoko finally snapped, murdering his bully and then stuffing the body into a giant fishing pot. Oh! They thought he was free of the bullying, but when the parents discovered their dead son, they gathered the entire village and stabbed Gyoko with a bunch of fishing spears. Whoa. Gyoko lay on the sand for over 12 hours waiting for the end to come, but instead Muzan found him and turned him into a demon. After recovering, Gyoko only remembered two things. Muzan had saved him and humans were evil. Oh. As a demon, Gyoko kept his strange obsession with fish and stuffed his victims into fish pots for later. But even as an evil fish demon, he doesn't look half as bad as Gyutaro. The ugly yeah, demon of them all. Gyutaro. was born in the poorest part of the entertainment district. And Gyutaro. he was so that his mom Hated him. His story, him and uh, was even worse outside of home. What's the Doki? They story was super sad, bro. Insects and mice just to survive. life just sucks. Bro, make me itchy looking at him. When I found out that Google was doing Nah, but they story was super sad, though. I'm not even gonna cap on that one. Everything changed when his mother gave birth to Ume. With a little sister, Yutaro felt a responsibility to be a protector. Even protecting her from the Reverse Tanjiro mother, and Nezuko. His mother took things too far and tried to shave all of Ume's hair off. Yutaro jumped in, defended Ume, and then took his sister and left, leaving his mother alone forever. From this point on, Yutaro raised Ume himself. He was very fond of his sister's looks, and she eventually became an entertainer. Here, Yutaro found a calling as a sister's debt collector, leading the siblings to finally becoming successful. This happiness wouldn't last for long, cause in just one day, that's terrible, everything. bro. See, one of Ume's customers was a samurai. He was a little too pushy, so Ume decided to poke out the dude's eye in self-defense. The samurai was outraged and burned Ume alive. Like and when that Kuto found his sister's is burning body, actually he was wild. devastated, crying and pleading for someone to save her. However, his prayers were only met with a swift cut to the back. Yutaro turned around to see both the evil samurai and Ume's manager. Apparently, the man. Manager had wanted to kill the siblings for a long time, and Ume's fight with the samurai Snakes, bro. gave the manager a good excuse. But things didn't go out as planned. Yutaro grabbed his scythe, killing both See, the samurai and he, the he, he, he a beast with it, though. And tried to find Said you can't take a G out that easy. Instead, a harsh snowstorm formed. Not even the weather was on Yutaro's side. It was at this point that the two encountered Doma, the current Upper Moon Six. He offered them the choice to become a demon, which Gyutaro immediately accepted. Man, the demon moons all had crappy lives, but Kaigaku was one of the worst, because he was a demon Kaigaku. who chose to become a demon. As a human, Kaigaku was an orphan, forced to live off of scraps just to survive. Everything changed for him. He was just one like Denji for real. By Kuwajima, the former Thunder Hashira, Kaigaku was trained in the way of thunder breathing, alongside best boys and Oh, wow. He was kind of a bully, disrespecting anyone weaker than him. So he was like... He he was with Zenitsu back in the day. No matter how hard he tried. On the other hand, Zenitsu could only use the first form of thunder breathing. This led to an odd dynamic between them. With Kaigaku wow. and Zenitsu, since he believed him to be a weak coward. So when the ex-Thunder Hashira announced that Kaigaku and Zenitsu would inherit thunder breathing, Kaigaku snapped. He left the dojo in a rage, which would end up as his biggest mistake. Shortly after leaving the dojo, Kaigaku came face to face with Kokushibo, the strongest demon moon. The top. Him a choice between being killed the upper, and upper moon. moon. The uppers of ups moons. And he agreed to become a demon, replacing Yutaro and Daki as the upper moon rank six. 
Oh wow. Crazy that he became a demon because he was a coward. But Kokushibo similar cuz his jealousy turned him into a demon. See, thousands of years ago, Kokushibo was just a kid training to become a master samurai. He was very talented, unlike his brother Yorichi, who was an outcast for having a weird marking on his face. But one day while Koku was training against his master, and they call him Koku. They Koku. He destroyed the sword master in one go. Everyone watching was shocked, and from that point on, Yorichi was treated like a celebrity while Kokushibo was ignored. As an outcast, even though he was talented though, wishing that Yorichi would just die. And in a way, his wish was granted cuz Yorichi disappeared for the next 10 years. Koku went on with his life and became a master samurai, but one night his happy life was interrupted. See, while out on patrol, Koku was attacked by demons. Mm. He was about to die, but Yorichi came out of nowhere and saved him. Despite having saved his life, this was probably the worst day of Koku's life. His jealousy came back even stronger, leading Kokushibo to abandon his samurai path to become a demon. A demon. All he wanted was to surpass his brother. A goal that oh no, he became a demon Koku slayer for First, and then he became a demon. Demon slayers of his time. He unlocked the demon slayer mark and even became a Hashira. But despite all this, he still wasn't as strong as Yorichi and couldn't learn sun breathing. Wow. He had to settle for moon breathing, a slightly weaker breathing style. Koku raged at his weakness, but one day he came face to face with the solution to all his problems. He met Muzan, the demon king, and finally saw a chance to surpass his brother. Yo. Into a Over the next 60 years, demon Kokushibo grew stronger, killing demon slayer after Demon Slayer. He assumed his brother was long dead, but Yorichi surprised him one last time by appearing in front of Kokushibo as an old man, still alive despite having the Slayer mark. Koku was furious and oh. grabbed his sword, but before he could make a move, Yorichi had sliced open his throat. Koku knew it was all over. Kokushibo could, for the he could just blood. never win. He, he was like, I just can't win. He died right where he was standing. Enraged by a feeling of inferiority, so I'm sick of this. he his brother's body in half and left, determined to be Become even stronger. Now, demon moons are just freaky, but I bet the Hashira have secrets even you don't know. Click that... this video to find out. Wow, bro. That's wow, bro. Everybody got an interesting battle. Those were those were interesting. I'm not even gonna cap on that one. Hey, y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about those backstories. Be sure to comment below, like subscribe if you're new and i'll see y'all in the next one peace y'all